Hello again and welcome to the Pat Hunter channel with me, your host, John. And today I... This box a little harder than we want. There we go. I am at Buffalo Wild Wings, which I am. It looks a lot like my house, but that's where I'm at. Anyway, I'm going to be trying two new things. I have a new bullet bourbon barbecue as well as the return of hot barbecue and I just have some boneless wings here which I meant to buy regular wings but when I opened it up and saw they were boneless I was like they messed up but I looked at my receipt and I messed up however they did mess up on something because I also ordered a side of the blazing knockout sauce which I don't have anywhere And I got cheese curds. And there, Mountain Dew Legend, which I've reviewed before. But since it's original, only available there, I'm going in there. Got to try it again. But for now, let's just try the main events the new sauce, bourbon barbecue. But they do make sure all over their website when you're ordering this to make sure that you know that there's no alcohol in this. If you thought they were going to sell you, alcohol in a sauce then you're crazy anyway here you go let's go try bullet barbecue it does have a nice bourbon flavor to it they categorize this in their mild one one flame uh, range there's a subtle smoky <coughs> that wasn't spice that was one of the crunchy bits Going down the wrong way. Let's try a little more. Like I was saying, it's got a subtle smokiness to it. For being in the mild, I'm surprised that I do detect any spice whatsoever. I think it's good. If you like a bourbon -y flavored sauce, you'll definitely like it. Now, I didn't even know that hot barbecue was taken off the menu until all their social media things were like, bring back hot barbecue, bring back hot barbecue. And I've always found it weird when the brand itself is making those claims like I haven't seen a bunch of people posting about bring back hot barbecue so they did it themselves wait here let's try it out this is in a medium category so it should be hotter than the bullet barbecue I'm not sure if I've ever had their hot barbecue before this. What it tastes like is that they took their regular barbecue sauce and then they took their regular strength buffalo sauce, maybe their hot buffalo sauce, and they kind of mixed them together. But it definitely has that cayenne flavor that you would get from uh, the, just a the regular buffalo sauce. But it's mixed with like a sweetness. I 
I'm not as impressed with the hot barbecue. It tastes... It tastes just like slightly sweetened buffalo sauce. You see the, the color of it. It does have that like light red color that you would get from the buffalo, but slightly darker. It has little specks in it that you might see are buffalo sauce. Um, it's okay, but the bourbon barbecue is much better. You know, I like myself a good bourbon. And this sauce tastes like bourbon to me. So well, I'm gonna say the bullet bourbon barbecue, thumbs up. The hot barbecue, you can keep it off the menu and I won't care. Anyway. That's basically it for this. Very easy review here. There was going to be a third sauce because they have, we're supposed to have a new Blazin' Knockout sauce, which is on their highest hot category. It's like their challenge level. And I've had their regular Blazin' before. Um, I tried when they did like a ghost pepper or a scorpion pepper Blazin' before. Uh, they've always been really extremely hot and not really, uh, to me, tasty and enjoyable. Um, but I was willing to dip a little piece of chicken in it to give it a taste. Uh, although, they don't seem to have uh, followed their own receipt, which I have right here, that says... It says reform blazon plus reform blazon. I guess that's the reformulated blazon is probably the the term for it. But I don't have it anywhere. It's not in this bag. It's not in this bag. It's not in the box with the cheese curds. Which let me taste a cheese curd. Long here. Decent. They kind of look overdone, overcooked, but decent. Ever since I've had fried cheese curds that were fresh in Wisconsin, I'm always looking for that same experience. This is not that, although it's not terrible. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We will see you on the next video, and goodbye.